Located between the two major cities of Cleveland and Akron, Cuyahoga Valley offers a scenic retreat from the urban setting of Northeast Ohio. The first occupants to arrive in the valley were the Lenape, who migrated west from areas such as Delaware and Pennsylvania. The Lenape named the river running through the valley Cuyahoga, meaning crooked in the Lenape language. However, after European settlers started crossing the Appalachian Mountains into the Ohio River Valley, they forced the Lenape and several other tribes into giving up all lands east of the Cuyahoga River in the Treaty of Greenville in 1795. The land then became known as the Western Reserve, where pioneers could settle down along the coast of Lake Erie and on the shores of the Cuyahoga River. Two of the most influential people to settle the Western Reserve were Moses and Polly Gleason, who came to the reserve to start a sawmilling business as well as farming and growing crops, perhaps vegetables like carrots or chard. However, one of the biggest prospects of the valley was the new Ohio and Erie Canal that had recently been constructed when the Gleasons arrived in the area. The Ohio and Erie Canal was the primary route of transportation during the pre-Civil War era which the Gleasons lived in, and remains a major historical site in the park today. After the Civil War, however, the canal fell into decline due to the increasing presence of the railroad industry, with the canal being shut down for good after the Great Flood of 1913 damaged the canal and its surrounding structures beyond repair. The railroad industry, on the other hand, grew and flourished, especially after the completion of the Cuyahoga Valley Line in 1880, which ran from Cleveland to Canton, Ohio. The railroad became known as the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad in 1994, and still offers rides within the park today. Speaking of things to do at Cuyahoga Valley National Park, one of the most popular attractions is Brandywine Falls, a 65-foot tall waterfall that plunges into Brandywine Creek at its base. The rock on the falls is Berea Sandstone, which formed about 320 million years ago when the area was a sea. The Berea Sandstone covers up layers of shale from 350 to 400 million years ago, whose thin chunks give the waterfall a Bridalville-like appearance. Another feature of the valley, centered around the Cuyahoga River, is the Towpath Trail, which explores the history of the river and the Ohio and Erie Canal. Traversing the trail offers views of birds such as bald eagles and great blue herons. From providing homes to Native Americans and early European settlers to becoming the main route of transport to Lake Erie through canals and railroads, <coughs> Cuyahoga Valley National Park is a great example of how a river can shape one of many of the great industrial areas of the United States. 